In this video, I will explain how to do quick comparisons in Google Analytics 4 reports. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to the Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where you can learn Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. And if you want to stay up to date with GA4, consider subscribing. If you're browsing standard GA4 reports and you want to quickly compare how one group of your visitors performed, you can do that with comparisons. This feature might look similar to you to advanced segments from Universal Analytics. However, there are many differences and you will learn them here. Also, at the end of this video, I will show you one pretty useful feature that many GA4 users just miss. So let's take a look. If you want to quickly compare several groups of your visitors, then you can use the comparisons feature. To get started, click Add Comparison in any standard report of Google Analytics 4. Click it right here, and then this sidebar will appear. Also, you can open that sidebar by clicking this icon, which is Edit Comparisons. Click it. And then you will see one comparison by default, which is all users. If you want to add more, you can click Add New Comparison, or as I've said before, you can click Add Comparison right here. And then you can define dimensions by which you can include or exclude your visitors and their data in this comparison. For example, if you have already created and accumulated some data in audiences, then you can enter audience name and then enter the name of the audience right here. If you want to learn more about how to create audiences and how they work, I have another tutorial and you will find the link to it below the video. Let's say that I want to take a quick look at the traffic coming from the US. That is why I will select country right here and then enter United States. Click this checkbox and then OK. If you want, you can add more conditions by clicking this add new condition button and then click apply. If you're doing this in the report snapshot, you will see most of the cards that you previously saw, and each one of them will have now two comparisons. You can distinguish each comparison by looking at its color. Once you add the comparison, you can browse other reports in this section, and that comparison will persist. For example, let's take a look at events. Here you will see the event count. Here you can see the scatter plot, although I almost never use that. And also you will see how each event performs in different comparisons. If you want, you can even remove the all users comparison right here, and then you will remain only with that particular comparison that you have previously created. If you remove this one, then it will default to all users once again. When it comes to analysis, personally, I don't often use comparisons. Instead, when I want to dive deeper into the data, then I use explorations and segments. If you want to learn how to use segments, I also have a tutorial about that, and you will find the link to it below the video. Speaking of the sidebar that appears when you click Add Comparison or click this one, there is one hidden feature. Maybe in the future it will be made more visible, but right now you can find it by clicking, for example, here. And I want to emphasize that this hidden feature will work in reports like these ones. In real time and report snapshot, it will not work. So right now I am in the events report of the engagement section. And if I click this and then at the bottom, I will see a button explore. Once I click this, Google Analytics 4 will recreate this report in the exploration section right here. However, keep in mind that not all metrics are supported by explorations. In case of the event reports, all four metrics will be available, but later I will show you another example where we lose some of the metrics in the exploration report. Anyway, here I am in the engagement events report, and if I click this explore, we will have to wait for a bit, and then this very same report will be recreated right here. And then if you want to do some additional analysis, you can add dimensions, segments, and so on. Now let's take a look at another example where we are going to lose certain metrics. Here I am in the engagement pages and screens report. And if I do the same thing by clicking this edit comparisons and click explore, after a while, the report will be built in explorations as well. However, if you compare that report with this one, I mean, compare the standard report to explorations report, you will notice that certain metrics are missing. For example, there is no metric for unique user scrolls and there is no average engagement time metric. Will they be added in the future? Well, I don't know. That depends on the Google Analytics team. Also, it is worth mentioning that sometimes the sidebar when I click this button just freezes and I cannot add anything. So if you face this bug, and I hope that this will be fixed in the future, so just refresh the page. And when you do that, then try editing the comparison once again, and then it should work fine. I'm pretty sure that this is just a temporary bug that will be fixed in the future. And one final thing to mention is that if, for example, you add a second comparison or maybe even a third one. So let's say that I want to 
check those who have purchased at least once. So if I add these two comparisons and then I click the explore button, those two comparisons will also be available right here as segments. And that is how we can use comparisons in Google Analytics 4. Remember, they apply only to standard reports. And if you want to slice your data in exploration reports, use segments instead. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.